If you thought Taysom Hill was just an average football player, think again. He isn't only a team captain for the New Orleans Saints, but he's also been regarded as one of the most versatile players in the NFL. From quarterback to tight end to making plays on special teams, Taysom Hill does it all. They don't call him the Swiss Army Knife for nothing. So just how good is Taysom Hill actually? In the heart of Pocatello, Idaho, in a small town, the soon-to-be NFL star and hometown hero was born. Taysom Hill was raised with a passion for outdoors and sports, growing up with four-wheelers, camping trips, hunting, and fishing. It was this environment that Hill's competitive spirit began to shine, as he quickly became one of the top athletes in his town. And from an early age, he was a standout on the field. He even stated that he grew up with the ball in his hand. Even when he was one of the younger kids in the neighborhood, Hill was often chosen to play with the older kids. This small, tight-knit community, with its deep love of sports, watched Hill develop and grow up over the years to soon become one of the best high school athletes in the state. Highland High School is where Hill's rise to football started, but he wasn't just a football player. Hill excelled in basketball and track, and I'm sure being in a small town, this allowed Hill to excel in a variety of sports, but ultimately stuck with football. Initially a wide receiver, Hill's knowledge of the position translated into becoming an even better quarterback. This position change would help Hill lead the Highland Rams to the state title in 2008. As a senior, Hill was one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in the state, passing for 2,269 yards and rushing for 1,491. His 42 combined touchdowns earned him Idaho Gatorade Player of the Year, and he even broke several Highland Highs records for total offense. Hill's achievements were also extended to track and field, where he ran the 200 meter sprint in 22.5 seconds and won the long jump event with a distance of 6.85 meters. Hill's success at the high school level helped him gain attention from a lot of major collegiate programs. Schools like Stanford, Boise State, and Oregon State were really interested in him. Ultimately, Hill committed to Stanford University under the guidance of head coach Jim Harbaugh. But his decision to serve a two-year LDS mission in Sydney, Australia would postpone the start of his collegiate career. But by the time he returned, circumstances had changed and Stanford's policy wouldn't allow him to join the team until June. Determined to find the right fit, Hill made a pivotal decision to enroll at BYU. BYU's football program was a natural fit for Hill. It was a school steeped in tradition that closely aligned with his faith. He wasted no time making an impact, becoming a key part of BYU's offense his freshman year. However, Hill's career at BYU would be a story of immense highs and devastating lows. In 2012, his freshman year, Hill faced the first of many setbacks. During a game against Utah State, he suffered a detached bicep tendon. This injury would take him out the rest of the season, but he would persevere and return back even stronger, eager to lead the Cougars into the 2013 season. That year, Hill exploded onto the national scene, leading BYU to a 40-21 victory over Texas, where he rushed for 259 yards and three touchdowns. It was around this time where his ability as a dual-threat quarterback started to get noticed. Yet, Hill's biggest challenge early in his career seemed to be avoiding injury. In 2014, a broken fibula and torn ligaments in a game against Utah State would cut his promising season short. The the following year, a Liz Frank fracture suffered in the season opener against Nebraska cut short what many believed could have been a Heisman-worthy campaign. And in 2016, just as he seemed ready for a final comeback, Hill suffered a hyperextended elbow in the regular season finale against Utah State marking his fourth season-ending injury in college. Despite these setbacks, Hill's determination earned him respect from his teammates and coaches. His career stats were impressive, with over 2,800 rushing yards and 32 rushing touchdowns. This ranked him fifth all-time at BYU in total touchdowns and fourth in total offense. Off the field, Hill faced personal trials as well. In March 2016, his older brother Dexter passed away unexpectedly. The loss hit Hill hard, but he honored his brother's memory by changing his jersey to number seven, the number Dexter had worn. Hill's faith and close-knit family were his anchors, helping him navigate the emotional and physical toll of his college career. 
Hill entered the NFL draft in 2017, but his injury history made teams weary. Despite his talent, Hill went undrafted, a disappointment for a young quarterback who had overcome so much. He would end up signing with the Green Bay Packers as a free agent on May 5th, and he appeared in three preseason games with them, completing 14 of 20 passes, throwing for two touchdowns, and rushing for another. Despite showing potential, he was cut from the team before the season even started. Soon after though, the New Orleans Saints picked him up that same month. The Saints saw something special in Hill. Head coach Sean Payton realized how versatile and athletic Hill was, so he used him in many different roles, earning him the nickname Swiss Army Knife. Even though Hill is now a fan favorite for the Saints fans, it did not start out that way. Hill was listed as the third string quarterback in the start of the 2018 season, but was used in a variety of positions. This would include being their primary kick returner. Hill finished the 2018 season with 196 rushing yards, two touchdowns, and also contributed as a receiver and on special teams. In the playoffs, he played a pivotal role in the Saints' comeback victory against the Philadelphia Eagles, executing a fake punt and even caught a touchdown in the NFC Championship game. In 2019, Hill's role expanded, and by 2020, he signed a two-year $16.3 million contract extension with the Saints. He made his first start as the quarterback during Week 11 against the Atlanta Falcons, leading the team to a 24-9 victory by passing for 233 yards in rushing for 51 yards with two touchdowns. But his biggest quarterback battle came after Drew Brees retired in 2021. Hill competed with Jameis Winston for the starting quarterback role. While Hill was known for his athleticism and unique play style, Winston was more of a traditional pocket passer. Winston eventually won the starting role for the 2021 season, but Hill still played significant snaps in various roles, including as a change of pace quarterback. This would lead Hill to a four-year, $40 million extension in 2021. Though he lost the starting quarterback job to James Winston, he later signed another contract with guaranteed money and provisions that could increase its value to 95 $5 million. Unfortunately, Hill suffered a Liz Frank injury during the 2021 season that required surgery. In 2022, with Dennis Allen as the head coach, Hill transferred to playing tight end, but continued to take snaps at quarterback in the Wildcat formations. Hill remained a versatile weapon while occasionally stepping in as a quarterback when needed. However, the team leaned more towards using him in non-QB roles particularly with the addition of Derek Carr in 2023. That season, Hill returned to quarterback, but was also used as tight end, fullback, and on special teams. He finished the season with 401 rushing yards, 291 receiving yards, and six touchdowns. After the replacement of offensive coordinator Pete Carmichael with Clint Kubiak, Hill stated in an interview that he's being used in roles that he's never done before, and was even in a three-point stance as a fullback during OTAs, or organized team activity. He seems to have taken up an even bigger leadership role on the Saints team, recently being promoted to team captain. He quoted, I would say that the greatest form of, you know, respect and accountability comes from your peers. So to have the opportunity to be a captain representing this team really means a lot to me. Throughout his career, Hill has balanced his faith, family, and football, and has still remained grounded despite the challenges that he's faced. His adaptability has made him a fan favorite and one of the most versatile players in the NFL. And I think this quote encapsulates Hill's journey pretty well. Difficult times can help you become better and move forward, or they can cause you to step backward. It's how you handle those situations that show who you can become.